Yo, what is up? It is Aragotic here. So, this is a topic that came up once during my stream where somebody was mentioning that they were burnt out already. And the game has not been out for that long. And, you know, at first I was saying, well, the game hasn't been out that long, so maybe it's just not quite for you. But then I started thinking a little bit more into it, and the game does require a lot of time and don't get me wrong almost every gotcha game out there is going to require a lot of your time however the way the time is required in this game is a little bit monotonous and it it doesn't mean that i don't love it but you know your characters require xp they require glyphs they require abilities and you need to make sure you have uh, earth for uh, all of your um, water uh, questing you need to have water for all of your fire fire for earth it back and forth you've got light you've got darkness it's just there's a lot to really unravel and a lot of it for each character requires a lot of farming not to mention then you get to the gear the gear is completely random and one person can say hey wow 10 runs and i got this piece of gear but then the person who's already tired out who got unlucky with the lowest rolls possible for each of their uh glyphs and it took them more energy than most people did maybe their rng on their gear they still haven't after thousands of runs gotten something that they want and that's where it really boils down to, right? The RNG is necessary in these games. It's to make it so that players can kind of stay near each other while they create new content for the games. And, well, just in general, it makes it so that there's that gotcha RNG factor to it, which everybody pl that plays these games wants. The thing is, when you're at the bottom, it never feels good because you always want to be the one that's at the middle to top so that you feel like you're progressing, you feel like you're gaining something, but there's always going to be that bottom line. Now, if you find yourself at the bottom line, remember, you aren't competing with anybody. You don't need to log in and do your dailies every day. The thing that the, well, the main problem is though that let's say, let's go to quests, you don't do your dailies for a day. What are you going to be missing out on? You're going to be missing out on fi on 50 diamonds, a three-star pumpkin, some uh, crystal gems, and some jellies. The jellies are negligible, right? The weekly quests, they're a little bit more to it for sure. Achievements will come in time. So that's not the end of the world. The main thing you want to do really is if you're in a guild, you want to check in. You want to do your guild quest. However let's say you take a week off you come back after a week that 50 gems now is way more than just 50 gems right you're looking at 100 200 300 400 gems just right down the lane and it's it's jarring it, it hurts it makes you feel very quickly like you are falling behind to where you cannot catch up if you go to arena for example you need to make sure that you're doing your arena room all of the arena that you can make sure you use all 10 tickets make sure you're keeping on top of it because and i'm guilty of this if you're not doing the arena then you go over here you've got the arena shop you're not able to get the soul arcana so without that you put it into your legendary for its ascension now your legendary is weaker and this is something that you really need to slowly work up. There's no way around catching up on this. Uh, that sucks. It really sucks to feel like, hey, if I had done this the arena the last couple of days instead of skipping it, I would have my Arcana now. My Legendary would be good to go, and it would be a bonus. But now my buddies, they have it. I don't. And they should be rewarded for sticking to it, sure. But the thing is, let's say you only have a couple hours per day to play, right? Are you supposed to be doing Arena? Are you supposed to be doing the Guild Vault? Which can, the Guild battles themselves can take quite a while. Are you supposed to be doing uh, the Trials? 
which yeah you should be doing the trials the hero essence shop that's something that you don't really need to worry about that happens quickly event shops this is another thing that you can't really be missing out on all of the events that come out you're going to be getting the event shop tokens and they are relatively accessible but the thing is it means you have to completely participate still once again and you are punished for not doing so if i were to skip this event right here then i'm going to have to be waiting until the next one in two days seven hours and that's only 200 i'm getting from this one it's probably gonna be 200 in this one and if we go over again to the uh, <clears throat> event shop 200 which it was the max we could get from the first one only gives you an advanced summoning crystal and then 50 extra if you want Orac, which by the way, somebody pointed out, I don't know why they have a 20 version for 600, only by the 800 because 60 summons him and this gives you 20. I'm, I'm really confused about this right here unless maybe he's something that's like an 80 to summon. Maybe that's the case, but I, I don't, I really doubt that. Nonetheless, like you are missing out on another shop in this case. Okay, so you got all of your dailies out of the way. You've you've done all of your energy, which you get quite a bit about, which is good. And then you're going over and you're saying, okay, well, where do I need to do my adventures? Well, first thing that I use my adventures on is I go to my glyphs and I check out what I need to do. So for Nathalia, I got to go to 4-7 and I will just spam 4-7. Just keep spamming it until I'm out of energy because another character is going to need it down the line anyways. But 4-7 or any real um, adventure stages, they're not quick. Yeah, I can have them on auto, but that doesn't mean that it's just done instantly, right? So I'm waiting and I'm waiting for this to finish. And then once, it's, once I'm done with that, I can go and I can check my dungeons. But then, oh no, now there's a dungeon that's here that's recommended. Click it, it's the Jelly Dungeon. You want to do the Jelly Dungeon. It's, yeah, you could skip it. But in general, it's not here or I'd show you. You want to do it. You want to turn on your XP booster times two. Do as many as you can in the 30 minutes that's offered. Turn off the XP booster. There you go. Next thing's up, you want to do Bounty on. I'm slacking on here, okay, because I've just been doing Blitz. But you want to be pushing as far as possible, and this is something that you're going to want to most likely manual. Again, that's time consuming. Granted, this is going to get you to a point that you hit a wall where you're just going to be blitzing. And blitzing, you literally just click, and there you go, it's some gold. I don't. I, the gold needs to be increased because 1830 is kind of a joke. I don't get the point of that. You need to do no man's land. No man's land is get your abilities up. These take a while, especially the higher stages, which you need to be doing for the higher rarities and the higher level of the abilities. Then you go over to Void Tower. You have I'm at 55 right now. I haven't touched this in forever, but there are so many floors, and this resets every month. Like, I get it. I get it. It's good to have all this. This is I'm not trying to complain that it's a bad thing, but I'm trying to look at it from a casual perspective when someone came in and said that they were already burnt out and i can understand because at first i said how can you be burnt out there's so much content but the truth is there's so much content that burns you out because this is stuff that makes you feel like you have to do they can give you a month two months whatever but if you are bombarded with so many things that require X amount of time, yeah, it'll kill you. It'll kill your motivation. So we have Void Tower as well. These two are locked. I don't even know what they're going to be, but that's kind of interesting at the same time. You have the Dispatch. You got to make sure you dispatch each of these. Now, dispatching is quick. But something that maybe people are overlooking or you're overlooking yourself is that when you're done with one of these, you click them right it has the slow animation of if you captured or failed where he takes his time he slowly falls and then it's almost like it's loading and then it says captured 
and then it takes another second and then it pops up your reward and i know that these seconds seem like nothing but they add up so much when you're doing it so often that it can feel monotonous like sometimes maybe you just don't even want to pay attention to it what would be great in this situation is if you could just do a batch claim and then it just went down a list like captured, 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 failed, captured, captured. And next to it, you had like boxes, you just click them real quick. Instantly, they open up. Done and done. Dispatchability. I've got this pretty much maxed out, but the last one, this is something else that I think needs to be a little bit touched upon because this got maxed out really quickly. Unless there's more once you get past that, but I don't believe there is. Either way. Let's go back again to uh, Dungeons and Endless Trial. Endless Trial. Now, this is the thing that really is killing people. It's fun. It's fun the first time you do it. It's fun the second time you do it, kind of. It's not fun after that. It is a chore. It resets every two days. And it, I tell you, it's... It's rough. It is really rough. The rewards are good and you cannot miss out because of that. It's the only way you're going to be getting the trial tokens, which the trial tokens, let's go back over there to show you what that is. The trial tokens are going to be getting you the ancient summoning crystal, which is going to give you a guaranteed epic or legendary hero summon. I have two at the moment, but soon it'll be three with this. You can get Hugh, you can get Harbig, you can get Andre. Um, you can get the Arcanas for the uh, Epics, which is great. You've got the Summoning Crystals. I'm not sure the value on them. I still got to figure out what, val what values are where and what's good and what's not. But it's a, it's a bit much, you know, because you, you have so many different currencies that are all requiring you to do something different obviously but it's all stuff that's necessary there's nothing you can really skip out on maybe the arena shop you could skip out on maybe and even then you're missing out on so much you're missing out on the legendary hierarchy the guild vault you want to skip out on that well you're missing out on working on Yolanda. Great legendary. You're missing out on pumpkins. You're missing out on charms. You're missing out on gear. Like you're missing out on so much on all of these things. And it's just really depressing for a casual player. Because a casual player does not have the time probably to go through Endless Trial. The rest I feel like could potentially get there, right? If you really try you can get through it all. But once you get to this endless trial, or you go in, enter. I think I already did a little bit of this, right? Or maybe not. Okay, floor one. There's this, one single attack, okay. There's that animation, pretty quick animation. But now I'm going into artifact battle, which by the way, you should always go for the artifact battles if you can handle it. And you should always go for the shield guides. The shield, they're going to give you the charms that are the hardest in the game to get, and pretty much the best way to get them is through this. So let's go to Artifact Battle. We have to, This doesn't say from before, but let's just grab our four characters, right? And let's get our normal spells and battle. The battles are quick. Battles are quick. But right here, we're dealing with the loading screen. Auto, dead... Waiting on an animation again. He's dead. Waiting on an animation again. He's dead. He's dead. And he's gonna be not dead. But we have to do another animation. He's still alive. Now we're going for through another animation. It's just there's so much you have to wait on. And this is the first battle. There are three floors and the amount of battles between them all is insane. Like, I'm not saying that there shouldn't be the battles, no. But I'm thinking that there needs to be some sort of, hey, I'm not going to be able to do the Endless Trial this week. Let me just hit a complete trial or send out characters button in the beginning. Um, like, right in here or out here, you say, uh, 
for the next 12 hours, can you try to complete this zone? And maybe it's like the dispatch system so that people that can't play it can actually get something back. They won't get 100% rewards. They won't, and they they would know they won't. But the thing is, there need to there needs to be something there because you don't want to burn out your players. You want to give them a lot of content. You want to give them a lot of choices. But the thing is, if you want them to make this a main game, then you need to make them feel like the game is something they want to play. People that play these games already have other options on the side that they've been playing. And if this game is attracting uh, their time from the other games to a certain degree, you're putting them in a stand where do I go with this new game or do I go with this old one that I'm already knowing is, you know, solidified altogether. I know what I'm doing on it. And more times than not, they're going to go with the old one, make this a casual game, and this one will slowly get wheedled out. And it's very unfortunate because this is a wonderful game. I'm loving it. And I hope that nothing that I've said has changed the idea that I do love the game. And I want more people to enjoy it. And the reason I am even making this video is because I want more people to enjoy it. And yes, I know I have not even done 60 on Endless Trial. I am disgusting, okay? I am starting to stream it now, so... We'll probably stream that too, but this isn't to promote my stream in any way. Um, it's just, I'm really hoping that we get some quality of life situations here so that the working class, so that the people that don't have as much time can really feel like they're not falling too behind. Because no matter what, obviously they are going to fall behind. They know that, but help them feel less behind than the rest of us. That's about it, guys. Catch you next time.